Hi everyone, it's Mary with A Passion for Paper. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be sharing this beautiful journal with you that I made recently using digitals from Dorothy Jane Papery. You can see this is the cover image, beautiful. And I will go ahead and link her Etsy shop below and you can find uh, some other new digitals there too. These are ones that I just downloaded a couple of months ago and have been enjoying using in other projects and decided I really just wanted to feature um, the digitals in this journal. So let's take a look. I've gone ahead and wrapped it up with some of this beautiful embroidered trim with a little bold pin of some goodies here just for a little visual interest and get that vintage feel going so we have on the cover some beautiful coffee dyed vintage lace and i that's a little pocket in which i've tucked these adorable little journal cards so um these tags were made with the same digital which you can see here um, is this uh, just tore a piece off of that page and then i mixed it in with some beautiful embossed coffee dyed paper and another little french script image here and we have some very pretty vintage lace at the top and room to write a little something on the back. Pop that back in. Here's a lovely neutral colored tag that I made with some French book page and some, a different emboss, bossing um, plate. This one is a little bit more raised even than this one. And some gorgeous uh, vintage lace with cheesecloth and beautiful coffee dyed file folder is the base of this tag so that right in here on the cover and then opening up inside we have I think I showed this in a previous video as a sneak peek of these gorgeous vintage digitals. Um, and I do have a discount coupon for this Etsy shop, Bontic Vintage Designs. If you put in a passion for paper, it has to be spelled with the number four, not F-O-R, uh, you will get a 50% discount. So I just love, look at how raggedy this is, just gorgeous. Um, with a bit of cheesecloth, some torn edges, coffee dyed, stained artist paper with that lovely messy stitching. And this just clips right in here with one of those tiny paper clips from Tim Holtz and kind of gives a little bit more oomph to the cover, which has also been grungy coffee dyed. Here we have some pattern paper that I um, used white acrylic paint on. I roll it on uh, with a roller and a stencil and I love the effect that has. It's a little bit um, messy and shabby chic but also very elegant with the pattern and it just looks great on the sewing pattern paper. This is a original authentic vintage piece uh, two of them actually because I have this glorious aged well it's been aged naturally it's an original I love it I got this in one of my packages um, with some French items although this is not French it says uh, Dresden and the postcard is spelled differently so this is just really beautiful. I fell in love with the colors and I felt like it went so well with the tones in Dodie's um, digitals 
from that kit that I just had to put it in here. And this is La Petite Illustration from uh, one of my orders from France. And I believe that was 1931 that this page from the play is from. These um, pages are also in my tall, skinny neutral journals that I recently finished. Here we have a scrappy notepad and I do enjoy making these with the long threads on either side. So I sewed across the top there. We have para step stamped on to some more pattern paper and just some lovely coffee and tea dyed scraps, some vintage sheet music scraps. This is a vintage French book page and then love these grungy coffee and tea dyed papers every single one is different here's one with a beautiful stencil um, where you uh, can spray coffee on the stencil after you've coffee dyed it so that is a two uh, step process double dye and these scrappy notepads i do sell in my etsy shop um, there are three i sell them in sets of three and I do try to keep up with those, although they are often sold out. Um, and here we have the next page of all of this aged grungy goodness. I just love the way these pages come out. They just give that shabby look, the aged look. And then here are two more delightfully grungy tags. This one is got an image from, again, Dorothy Jane Papery. I printed that out and distressed it with uh, coffee and tea dye. It has this beautiful coffee dyed sari silk sewn onto the side. A little bit of French script and some authentic French book page. And just um, put onto this beautiful coffee dyed file folder tag. So this one, again with the messy stitching, some coffee dyed sari silk. Paris has been stamped onto a coffee dyed coffee filter and some more of that delightful vintage lace that's on the cover. And we have French book page. Um, Love that date up there and beautiful French script. And again, just lovely um, stains on this coffee dyed file folder tag back. So this has been a little collage and these fit right in here. Love that. Okay. Very nice and grungy page there. And then Madame Bovary book page, French authentic vintage book page and beautiful scissors, coffee dyed, um, love that. You can kind of see through it there as well. Another French book page that's a little larger in size with some more coffee dyed vintage lace. Here we have another uh, image from Bontic Vintage Designs with some French book page and artist paper that has been torn. Here is a lovely um, neutral journal tag that I made with French book page and just a bit of that gorgeous embossed coffee dyed paper collaged the book page all different directions this beautiful shabby tie at the top and here's the back again that coffee dyed file folder backing so love that neutral tag and then we have some more really pretty markings and shadings in here with this lovely torn edge and a little stamped image here. This is more coffee dyed stencil. And here we have a little tuck spot. With this pretty little cluster, piece of ephemera, Paris label, and again, some 
uh, mixture of embossing and cheesecloth and coffee dyed vintage lace sewn together and it comes right in here we have uh, this is a print of one of my originals from France and I have coffee and tea dyed that and it is backed with some script beautiful French handwriting there and then on this side we have a little tuck of this pretty cluster French book page and then a French label and there is some embossing here on this lovely thicker artist paper this is some sari silk and this was an image from Dorothy Jane Papery's kit stamp here from Sam Poole. I love those date stamps and some more tags over here. This beautiful tag I um, got from Honey Ruth Designs Etsy shop and I just um, backed it with some coffee dyed paper and stamped it. It's another one of those lovely Sam Poole design stamps. This is a tag I made by collaging several different elements. Um, French book page, label, stamped image, some more book page, and this has music sheet on the back. And again, this is coffee dyed file folder, has the base and a little coffee dyed sari silk at the top. This is a beautiful image from Ruby and Pearl. And more delightful grunginess with some lines for journaling. And then we have, this is actually the inside spread. And I really love the marks and shadings on this double page spread think it's so beautiful to get those natural, grungy, gorgeous marks. Here we have an image. I believe this one is from Odolcina, the monochrome at Mademoiselle's. And I put her on this beautiful coffee dyed paper. And then I just folded it around and glued the edges down to give her a little bit of a frame and then we have just this little Tim Holtz clip to clip her in place on the vintage music sheet and here just collaged a couple of pieces this one's from Honey Ruth Designs Etsy shop and this one's from Bontique Vintage Etsy shop and some lovely coffee dyeing here. I love the splatters. A uh, little pocket with some goodies tucked in. This is my stenciled coffee dyed design on index card embellished with a bit of lace and sari silk. This is a beautiful little image from Honey Ruth Designs with some embossed paper coffee dyed on the back and this is a Eiffel Tower from Bontic Vintage Designs Etsy shop with a little bit of um, French book page and backed with artist paper that has been coffee dyed some more of the beautiful markings from a tea coffee dye bath and some beautiful French script that has been coffee dyed and distressed a bit around the edges. And this is the other side of the French ledger page printout. Here's a cluster I made with an image from Odolcina's um, monochrome ladies. So many delightful messy threads on there. And that's from the cheesecloth. So, Love the layering and the messy stitching on the back. That just tucks right in here on this coffee dyed stencil 
again on a very lightly coffee dyed paper. And this is another one of the Bontic Vintage Designs Eiffel Towers with some a different pattern, a different embossing folder. This is the one with the snowflakes. And again, some French book page. Just a cute little tiny page there. Some markings. And I believe, actually, I'm not sure where that beautiful lady comes from. It's either Ruby and Pearl or Old Alcina. And then we have the other side of that French book page. And love the scissors on these um, sewing pattern papers. And this one's been coffee dyed. This is the other side of the Madame Bovary uh, book page. And Flaubert, you can see. And this is a little piece from one of Dorothy Jane Papery's uh, pieces from this kit. And love this grungy goodness here. And then some pretty little floral tags. These ones have not been backed. They were just printed on cardstock. They give a nice little floral flair to this page. I love this music sheet. And here's one of my um, collaged with French book page and some French script and the back is that beautiful coffee dyed file folder and just a bit of sari silk at the top so much fun making this little journal i hope you love it i certainly do i just love the few original pieces that are in here as well as some of these special items and lots of lovely tags that I have made. This one is um, also from Bontic Vintage Designs uh, with some lace and coffee dyed artist paper. And then it's backed with this beautiful image from Dorothy Jane Papery, some music sheet, and this is the back cover. And I just love this image from Dorothy Jane Papery's Etsy shop. And this was the inspiration for this entire journal. So thank you so much for watching. I will link all the Etsy shops below that I have featured in this journal. This one is going to be for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, hopefully later today, let me give you the measurements. So it is about uh, four and three quarters inches by seven inches approximately. And it's a one signature journal and it has been hand um, stitched here with a two hole pamphlet stitch with embroidery floss so i hope you enjoyed this flip through and found some inspiration here uh, until next time thank you so much for watching